Welcome to McNeldy's Book Corral. Today we're going to take another trip. We're going to travel from Edinburgh, Scotland to Dunfermline Abbey, which is across the estuary. And at Dunfermline Abbey, we find two fascinating things. We find the tomb of Robert the Bruce, which is in the abbey itself beneath the pulpit. And we find the ruins of the Dunfermline Palace, which is there, which is haunting and beautiful. Um, Dunfermline is a beautiful little place to visit. I strongly encourage you to do so. Since we're going to visit the tomb of Robert the Bruce, I have two books to recommend about him. What a wonderful... He's the heart and soul of Scotland, in my humble opinion. And we have Robert the Bruce, Our Most Valiant Prince, King and Lord by Colm McNamee. And this is a fantastic book, highly recommended. This is the best biography on Robert the Bruce I've ever read, and I've read quite a few. I do have another one to recommend, which is Robert the Bruce, King of Scots by Ronald McNair Scott. And this is also an excellent little book. So for those of you interested in Scottish history, we have these two books to recommend today to get there. Now, in a little... Uh, video that I put together that follows here in a moment. Um, I started filming when we exited the train um, across the estuary and we walked up to the Abbey. So it's less than a mile and I've just left the footage as is. So you'll hear my attempt at humorous banter as I'm walking up the hill with my, uh, with my wife and sister-in-law, my wife Jan and sister-in-law Terry. And then I have some uh, some uh, still footage I put at the end overdubbed with some information for you. For those of you especially who would love to travel to Scotland, uh, it's a beautiful, beautiful place um, and magical. And so I put some stills there that I took with a little narration to give you a little further a little further information about the area. I do hope you find that entertaining, especially for those of you that cannot travel and that you enjoy seeing these types of videos. Uh, and so, if you're quite ready, let's take a look at Dunfermline Abbey and the tomb of Robert the Bruce. We crossed the Firth of Forth in sunlight and with a sea breeze at our backs, but the weather soon turned cold and windy. They have a saying in Scotland, if you don't like the weather, just wait 15 minutes and it will change. And it's true. This is Dunfermline, huh? across the estuary, and uh, we're going up to the Abbey where Robert the Bruce is uh, interred. And we're just taking a nice little walk here uh, in this actually quite a beautiful little village. There's Terry Bass. I found her on the road, and then Jan McNulty. And uh, look at these beautiful little homes here, and. Uh, Let's just keep walking a ways and see how it looks at the end. I like this place up here. Looks quite good. A lot of these little homes are quite old. And the town center is to our right, but we're going to go straight uh, right over across to the abbey. So we're going to cross here and see if we can do so without any injury to our bodies. All right, we're going to try and cross without injury to our bodies. Right okay. here. Here we go. Beautiful place. Oh. Up the street here is the town center is over there. And we're still walking uphill to a place where they sell purple bricks. If you'd like one, <laughs> we have a special on them today. My understanding now is that the purple bricks designate the property is for sale. And the purple bricks movement in the UK is a somewhat controversial real estate group. And, uh, oh look. There's still, these two women have been following me for a quarter of an hour, and uh, I'm not sure what to do about it. Should I call the police? Hey, I was just walking along, here's a gentleman coming. We're coming to a gentleman up here on the corner. We'll, we'll see if we can discuss reality with him. <coughs> he might not be friendly, you know. The breeze. Oh, 
Good morning. We're on our way to the Abbey. Correct? Right on there. <laughs> Thank you, sir. There it is. See it? Yep. Yeah, it's a beautiful little town. They still have uh, purple bricks for sale over here at this lovely place. So we're going to walk all the way up. All the way up the Abbey and get ourselves a nice little walking tour. And there's special Scottish waste containers. And Jan and uh, Terry have uh, taken a break. They are stopping at the corner to uh, show off their thighs to these Scottish men who are wandering about aimlessly. A lot of traffic here. See if I can get a good shot of this gargoyle up here on this place. And we get right up. There, hand a little shaky. Too much coffee in the morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Very good, thank you. Thank you. Still walking. <coughs> Here's the uh, staircase, haunted staircase. And uh, if you go up that staircase, you're going to be in big, big trouble, okay? <laughs> big trouble. Don't do it. Stay out of there. Yeah, we're still walking. We're uh, walking through Dunfermline, Scotland. Uh, nice cold breeze off the ocean, uh, or I should say the estuary. Why don't we cross here? Let me see if I can get these two across the uh, avenue. That's Carnegieville, the White House. All right, I'm gonna cross here because we gotta go up. We successfully traversed the street for the second time without injury to our bodies. So what happens in the winter here is uh, they put space heaters out, and uh, no, I'm just kidding, uh, it's colder than hell right now, uh, here uh, up on the uh, Dunfermline hill town. And this is the birthplace of Andrew Carnegie. And I believe that would be how to win friends and influence people. Correcto? Or not? Alright, where is this place? Right there to the left. You can't quite see it yet. Uh, I wonder if we should have gone up one. You think we should go straight here? Yes, I do. Let's go straight up to the hill. We're going to go up the hill sideways. It's a special way to walk in Scotland. You angle, you angle yourself sideways. This uh, monologue has been censored by the uh, Scottish Public Police Department. So Andrew Carnegie, or do you say Carnegie? I think it depends on what country you're from. This is part of the Fife Council here. It's lovely areas. 
and we're gonna come up this hill and uh, lo and behold there's places places to see here lovely places they're all lovely all right, take your time still walking And uh, they sell purple bricks here, and they also have purple doors. And so if you need your purple bricks, you go through the secret purple door. Okay. There is the uh, entrance to the uh, abbey. Okay, let's cross. Onward. Good exercise. Coming up here. We have a green door. And we have a white door. And then we have another green one. And then we have my wife taking photographs. Okay? We have now black doors. Black doors. Black as night. This is the Abbey Cottage. And, uh, let's see what we got here. Oh, it's a lovely. Oh, they sat there. I love the stonework. So beautiful. Alright, here we go with the first shot where it says King. Right there. And uh, it says here on the, no bright child of Dunfermline can escape the influence of the Abbey Palace and Glen, Andrew Carnegie. Fantastic. Onwards. And now that we've arrived at uh, the Abbey, I'm going to temporarily turn this off and pick up later. Thank you. We passed through the gatehouse and under the watchful gaze of the Abbey Tower, which celebrates King Robert the Bruce with bold stone letters. Dunfermline Abbey and the palace ruins date back a thousand years. It is here that we found the tomb of Robert the Bruce, covered in magnificent brass beneath the pulpit. Also on display is a cast of his skull, and the abbey itself is home to many notable tombs and sarcophagi. Dunfermline Abbey is a beautiful parish church and still operates today for the Church of Scotland. We explored the ancient alcoves and winding staircases of the Dunfermline Palace, including the atmospheric cellars where I took this short video. All right, we're in the abbey, uh, Dunfermline Abbey. We're down below. In the, uh, this is actually the bakery down here. Is that what she, she said? Yes. Down here. And, uh, cold, dark. cold, it's dark. Very, very gothic, very cool. A little spooky down here. And my voice is echoing. <laughs> I found these, these two women here again. There's Jan, and then there's the other one. Uh, yes. There they are. Fantastic. And, uh... These ruins are among the more haunting places we visited in Scotland. And the wind came off the estuary where the boats unfurled their sails and set out for parts unknown. And we also prepared ourselves for the next chapter, all of which is but hinted at here. And onward we went.